really nice to see everyone really excited and here. A lot of my family members are here as well. So yeah, very nice warm welcome back home. I'm gonna have some rest <laughs> first. Uh, rest and recovery for probably the rest of this month and then I'm back to like general preparation work for the rest of the year and then yeah, then I'll probably start my season sometime in March or April next year. Just excited to rest, you know, and just reflect on what a great year has been. Not just the great moments, but also the learning points, you know, because there were a lot of races that didn't pan out the way I wanted to, so just a lot of reflection and just enjoying this, this moment. I really hope my story can somehow inspire not just track and field athletes, but, you know, people from every sport, you know, who's who's thinking of pursuing them maybe a bit more seriously than they are now. For me, I found something that I love to do quite early on and I just worked hard at it, I pushed for it and you know, I, I didn't give up because I knew this is what I wanted to do. So if anyone else is feeling the same way as me, I say go for it, don't be afraid to dream big. It's not, it doesn't have to be a scary thing but you definitely do have to put in your hard work and sacrifice a lot of things to, to reach that goal and, and get what you want. It's been so nice just to see the outpour of recognition and support from everyone at, in Hangzhou, like fellow athletes, and back home. It's just, I mean, it's a national pride thing and I think everyone's just really happy that they saw the Singapore flag, um, you know, being raised and people managed to sing the anthem. And I think it was a really nice moment, not just for me, but for everyone that managed to witness it. Yeah, I, I mean, thank you. It's been a... It's been a huge honour representing you know, Singapore and I hope to continue to do this for as long as I can.